Hi, this is Luke, and today you're listening to Luke's podcast. Today we have a pretty interesting subject that we're going to talk about, and it's actually pretty commonly talked about in today's world and for baseball. And it's, and it's should baseball players who have taken PEDs, which are performance-enhancing drugs, be allowed in the National Baseball Hall of Fame? So what people have a problem with here is that PEDs technically are cheating. They're taking PEDs are cheating. But at the time when most of these players took them, there it was commonplace, and everyone, most of, a lot of people, use them. So, what people are saying is that they shouldn't be allowed into the Hall of Fame just because they use these drugs. But it doesn't take away from their accomplishments. People, players who have taken PEDs are actually in the Baseball Hall of Fame. They just never were caught. Uh, these players include Pudge Rodriguez and Jeff Bagwell. Steroids don't actually affect the game and only increase strength and physical attributes. That means you don't need to use steroids to hit a baseball. All you need to use, all it does is help you get stronger. Just by looking at the baseball, it doesn't, steroids don't help with that. Only, only, uh, it just only helps you get hit the ball harder. And then what, it don't help you if you're a pitcher and you take steroids. It doesn't help you throw strikes. You have to be able to control your pitches and your curveballs. And just by taking steroids, it just makes your body stronger. The achievements of players also of taking PEDs are still written in stone and aren't going away. Barry Bonds, baseball's leading uh, home run king, seven hundred sixty-five home runs, and he's not in the Hall of Fame because he took PEDs. You can't you can't tell me that a guy, this guy who taking PEDs wouldn't have hit at least like it's because he took PEDs he hit 765 home runs like that's crazy I mean I understand that he took drugs uh, and they're not it's cheating but like he hit 765 home runs that's like insane like you can't just take that away from him but then again these players did cheat and they like cheating is cheating so I guess you could see from that standpoint also another thing you should people don't look at is they cause other players who don't have these who don't take these drugs they could underperform like a pitcher against Barry Bonds absolutely destroyed loses his job has to go down that means he loses money loses opportunity and that's not it's not good and and people also could say that their achievements are only PEDs, but that's compl- that's not right. And like, you could only you could say that, like, that he only hit seven hundred sixty five home runs, but what? Maybe with the, out the PEDs, he's like six hundred home runs. That's still a Hall of Fame player. So, I don't really think that's a good good argument about that. But that's really all we have for today. So thanks for tuning in, and bye.